So I'm back the next morning. We left off with this at the end. Sorry for the glare, but you can see that it's the resin is dry, the top coat's dry. I did have to touch up the edges after about six hours because I did, as I had stated, canvas is a challenge. And um, however, I'm told that Jeff from Artist Till Death, he's got a YouTube channel, he preps his canvases so well, I mean, so well, that they don't really get sagging. Me, I guess I'm in a hurry, and of course I'm doing a lot of other stuff for the company, no excuse, but I don't necessarily prep my canvases as that well. But by the very nature, canvas is fabric, and like I said, it can sink in the center, and for best results, you're better off using resin on wood. But I wanted you to see firsthand what had happened with the resin over the top. See one little spot maybe I, I was going to really nitpick, but this came out really beautiful. Uh, this is the uh, that Oreo cookie swipe we did with those 30 colors. 30 colors, each with a drop of silicone. So technically this has 30 drops of silicone on this piece, which is crazy. But the varnish burner works. And as you can see how beautiful, not to brag, but I'm blown away every day at how shimmery the primary elements are as are the resin art paints. And they're made with the same concept, maybe different color bases, but still, it's all about the interference, baby. As I showed you when I was color mixing, it's all about the interference and translucent color to get your colors to pop and play like this. I'm just so excited. I'm trying to get this purple in an area where it doesn't, where you can see how pretty that purple is without getting that glare in there. Because as soon as I hit here, the glare on my lamp is hitting it. Here is the more soft, subtle, the actual balloon dip I did. It has that little, uh, looks like a little orchidy pattern in the middle. Very cute. Because this is so washy, you can see the colors on the outside are very, very light, but the center where the green and the gold is very sparkly. And this was the straight black swipe over those warmer colors I did in the beginning. Um, decent color shifting, not as much. Um, this came out really softer on the bottom, not exactly sure why. But if you can tell on camera, these are still very, very shimmery colors, especially the golds and that hot pink. Anyway, so there is your recap on the polypore used with the primary elements, a varnish barrier, and then a resin top coat. So I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about the Bling It Micas which uh, for years we have had our, I call them our artist micas, uh, underneath the umbrella, the name of primary elements, because until middle of summer of last year, everything we sold was water soluble, okay? Now that we've entered into the era of offering actually resin, colors for resin, which con contains solvent, Color that will not dissolve in acrylic. It'll actually give you gumballs. Um, and then we have, of course, the primer elements in colors. There's one of the little sampler sizes. In colors, okay, where do we put the micas? They can no longer fall into the primer elements section. By the way, primer elements won't go into resin. I know that some people have tested them, and but I can just tell you safely, 70% of the primary elements will turn into hard rocks in your resin because the color will seize up and does not dissolve. Yes, I know there's a few that will work. But the issue where, we, where we're at right now, the dilemma is, what do we actually do with the interferences? So we started coining, and our, our others, our gold, our coppers, our bronzes, those are all the iron oxides, you know, what do we do with them? They need their own category. And you've heard us talk about Bling It. We've been marking them as Bling It, but they've been shipping out in the primary element label 
because we're getting the logo design, which by the way, the final draft was sent to me last night. So the, these packages are going to change. It's going to be in an actual jar that says bling it on it. So people know that the bling it are just plain micas. They're a neutral product that can be used in anything. And why I have all these little cards sitting around me is when I did the introduction and kind of explained the interferences, I did all these color swatches and I thought to save time, we can pull them out here. So just to give you guys a little heads up of the difference between the interference and say the sparkle. Okay, so the interference is very ultra fine. It feels like face powder. As you saw in the video where I mixed up 30 colors, using the interference and your colors will lighten them like adding white, but still allows the color to refract. It's brilliant. It shimmers. It's, uh, as you just saw in the beginning of this video when we resined over the top, you definitely get your shimmer back. Then there's another particulate. This is the same color. This is the interference violet. This is the sparkle violet. Now it's a bigger particulate. It's kind of hard to see on this camera. Bigger particulate looks a little bit more like a glittery type of color, <laughs> even though they're mica. Okay. So we have two sets. They uh, both come with five, even though I have six jars here, they both come with the five blue, green, gold, violet, red in both sizes. You can get them in the interference green for all your interferences for color mixing, and you can get them in the sparkle. Yeah, this uh, sparkle green is really pretty. This is the interference red. And I believe that's a sparkle red, even though it looks like it's picking up. Yeah, that's the violet, that's a sparkle red. Until I put them side by side. You see how this looks a little bit more purple and this looks a little bit more red? There is a blue and a sparkle blue. That's dazzling in the camera, isn't it? Okay, and then here is the regular interference gold. And for the sake of doing it on camera in front of you, I'm going to uh, paint a little bit of the large sparkle gold on this card side by side so you can see the difference. Now, I just have a little bit of water on my brush. That's all I'm going to use right now because I, I don't even though these stick pretty well with water. This wasn't done with acrylic. I'm dipping into the large sparkle gold. See if we can get a, get a close-up on this for you guys. Get a little bit more water on my brush. See how pretty that is? You can see the differences in the particulates compared to the interference. So when we brought this in, the idea was, wow, can we put that in like a tint, a resin tint, that it's completely clear color, but you can see a little bit of this sparkle coming through because the bigger the particulate, the more the lichen pass through it, as you can see, versus the interference gold gives you more of a satin look, okay? So, uh, well, that's pretty. I'm tempted to do every one of them just for the mere fun of it. I'm, I'm loving what the sparkle bling it looks uh, the big sparkle bling it looks like I mean I mean I'm a crow what can I say so what we're going to do we have a few of these already packed up ready to go right so we're going to put the five piece set of the interference and the large sparkle on 30% off on the website you use that current coupon code that gives you an extra 20, you've essentially gotten 50% off these sets. We want to move these because they do say primary elements on them, and we need to make room for the, the ones we're going to package with the Bling It logo. So I just wanted to give you that little heads up of what's happening. Now, another thing that's going to happen, you're, you're going to notice the... Uh, the ground metals are also going to go in there, okay? 
So we recently, and this is not limited to resin. I mean, acrylic artists have been wanting to put the silver in their paint for a long time. The only way we offered it was in the actual pre-mixed vivid enamel bottle. So even though this isn't the right bottle, I don't think I have a true silver here. Originally the silver, the only way acrylic artists could get this, this material, was if we pre-mixed it in the enamel. I, I would not sell the raw material straight because it, was, it would become instantly airborne as you used it. But we found a way around that and I know we just released this a few weeks ago so now you guys can get the the silver um, and the I think this is the autumn flame and the dragon gold and this is a different jar but it'll give you an idea this is like a silver rose color. So my point to this exercise, or talking about this right now, is we put them in the half ounce jar because uh, we knew we were going to go with the bling line and we had to create a little differentiation. We weren't willing to put it in the big primary element line because currently you can also get the true silver in the resin art container, okay? So watch for the next couple of weeks. What's going to happen is, um, I guess I'm ready to announce it now, the bling it interference, the sparkles, all your copper, your basic gold, your bronzes, all the regular colors, everything that is bling it, that is a powder, is going to go into the big two ounce jar that the resin art's in, but it's going to have a bling it logo on it. You will notice that these may be listed in the resin art listing, but you're going to see that the name on it's going to be changed. It's going to be called bling it because we need to let people know this, this is a universal product. And the resin workers have been getting quite the deal price wise on the larger jar than what we could possibly bring it out in the little half ounce for the acrylic people. We've been trying to tell everybody on the phone, go check it out on the resin art listing. You're going to notice the same. This is true silver. This is true silver. Well, now we're going to smooth this out so the branding's a little bit clearer. Okay. So everything that is a, is a mica or a ground metal is in the blingit line, as is the big champagne pearls. This will even have a big Bling It logo on the back. It won't just have a small little label on the back. You'll see a Bling It logo on the back of this. So everything that is mica, ground metal, all of it, is going to go into the Bling It packaging. But in the meantime, we're going to offer you guys a deal, okay? And it will be a little bit more expensive to go into the larger size, but I've got to tell you, as much color mixing as you might do, I'm already out of my interference violet. I granted I mixed a lot in that 30 color video the other day, but I really believe that if people are really going to use their interferences to alter, mix, create color shifting in their work, uh, this is going to be the right size jar to put it in. And we'll try to price it appropriately. Usually when you get to a larger jar, you get a little bit more for your money because the packaging is pretty much the same and the labor is the same, okay? Um, as far as the interferences for someone who wants to get a starter set or the large sparkle bling it, you will eventually see a half ounce jar of the bling it samplers, okay? Uh, by the way, this is the platinum rose. I was looking for it in the big jar and I found it. This is the platinum rose, okay? Uh, you we will be doing sampler blingets in the half ounce jars, but rest assured your best value for your dollar will be this big one in a few weeks. And right now, to be able to get these at 30% off plus the extra 20% for the coupon, it's a real steal to be able to get these at 50% off. So you guys can get a deal on your big sparkle blinget and your interference blingets, okay? 
I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, I know this is just a quick little promo to show my finished resin pieces and what, what is happening moving forward to the interferences and the sparkles and uh, the ground metal line all in a whole. And like I said, even the resin art true silver, the few colors that are under the resin art label canopy, this label is going to switch to a blingle label. Um, that way you know resin workers can use it and acrylic workers can use it. I know I've repeated myself, but I just think it's very important that you guys know eventually you're not going to see this on the resin art list. You're going to see it on the bling it list. I think for a while we'll leave it there, but we're going to call it bling it. You may think, oh my gosh, you got it in the wrong section, but I need you guys to understand it's been moved to a larger jar and in a... A uh, clear-cut branded category that says, hey, bling it's for everything. And by the way, <laughs> I love to make things bling, don't you? Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.